Speaking of battles we need to start fighting, tell us why. Make the argument for why pornographers should be imprisoned. Oh yeah, pornographers should be imprisoned. And there's there's a few reasons for this. Firstly, I think the most straightforward argument you can make is just the heavy involvement of pornographers with the sex trafficking industry. And this is something you've talked about in the book that, that you've written. I would also say that the catechism of the Catholic Church itself says mm -hmm. that the production and distribution of pornography should be prevented by legal authorities. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, how do legal authorities prevent things? Legal authorities prevent things generally by issuing <laughs> some set of legal consequences for those actions. And I don't think a fine is going to be enough to get someone who's making insane amounts of money to stop producing pornography, right? And people might say, well, this is such an extreme view. It's not. We talk about locking people in prison for having a bump stock, right? It, with firearm regulations, we're more than happy to throw people who haven't done anything violent mm -hmm. in a cage. Dude, pornography does so much more destruction to our culture than rifles do. Are you kidding me? It's not even a question. It's not even a, it's not even a question. It doesn't even approach the opportunity of becoming a question. It's so not a question. Pornography is entirely corrosive to culture and mm -hmm. society. It destroys the most important and fundamental social building block, which is the relationship between men and women. That has to be protected at all costs. Like I this is going to sound crazy. I actually think we should be as protective of marriage and the family as we are of like banks and oh, businesses yeah. that fail. Yeah. And I know that's wild, right? But if mm. someone was seen to be intentionally sabotaging a large bank by moving funds around where they weren't supposed to go and causing it to collapse so that they could swoop in from another company and benefit from that bank's collapse, you're telling me that person wouldn't be prosecuted? Well, we have people doing that now, but... Instead of doing it with banks, they've been doing it for decades with mm -hmm. the American family. Let's do everything we can to make our culture as sexually perverted as possible so that it's impossible for men and women to relate to one another. It just very conveniently happens to be the fact that the family is a competing authority structure to the state. Yep. There are, and, and people who don't have good relationships with the opposite sex, people who not only don't have families, but don't have any hope of starting one, which I think is a very important key point here, end up feeling despair, and those who feel despair are also wonderful consumers, right? People living in despair are perfect consumers. Mm -hmm. It's not that there is an issue with not having a family if you're not called to have a family or if you're not at that point in your life, but young people today feel like they can't, like they will never be able to have a family. That's a very different thing. That's a very disturbing thing. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it takes away a person's hope and it also frees up their financial resources. Having a lot of financial resources and not having a lot of hope makes you a wonderful consumer because when there's no hope, when you don't have a future to look forward to, all you can do is grab on to immediate yep. short-term pleasures. Yep. Yep. And then, of course, if you don't have any dependents, you can afford to buy any and all of those. Yeah, it feels like uh, instead of bread and circuses, it's... Mm -hmm. um uber eats and porn that's and literally Netflix. Yeah. like we really don't need you to come out of your house we'd prefer mm -hmm. it if you didn't just stay in there and we'll poison really yourself rich. and yeah. keep buying things on amazon yeah yeah so what I'm do sorry, you say I, to the, in my you... classic adhd way I, I went in a bunch of circles and we're not sure i actually addressed your no your i think you did question. this okay. is why we should jail pornographers and yeah, why yeah. pornography should be illegal they're literally destroying society they, and i i hate using the i think they're excuse me I think often the term society is used as a cop-out. I'm like, I don't have an argument for this. I'm going to say it's bad for society. Okay. But I think you could very easily demonstrate yeah. how and why pornography is bad for the relationship between men yeah. and women. And if it's bad for the relationship between men and women, then there's no question that it's horrifically bad for society, right? I mean, that now, shouldn't even, now, now, two objections someone might things. offer. Uh -huh. You know, One is, okay, but we live in a democratic republic where the vast majority of people are okay with pornography. Mm -hmm. So the idea that we would ever criminalize it is just not even feasible. Sure. So why talk about it? So... There's two separate questions here. You're asking me, should we jail pornographers? You're not asking me if that's a pragmatic political possibility at this point. You're not asking me that's if right. that's something we're going to be able to achieve or if this is what the Republicans should be beating yes. the drum on right now. Okay, so that, that's an entirely that Yeah, so that's an entirely separate argument. But no, I, I guess that would be my response. My argument here is not about strategy. It's about principle. What I'm saying is pornography absolutely should be banned. 
whether that's something that's done on the local level or the federal level, whether there's a political will for it, whether that's something that would sabotage the Republican Party right now instead of helping it claim whatever victories it needs to win in order to move on to banning pornography is an entirely different question. And I'm not trying to answer that right now. All I'm trying to say from a position of principle is it's totally corrosive and we need to get rid of it. And I have no qualms about jailing the people who produce it. And I want to say... In other words, I would not say it's like a human rights violation to throw someone in jail for making porn. Yes, and I would agree with you 100%. I'd also want to say to those who are nervous about making a full-throated claim like this because they themselves still look at pornography that, I've said it before, but a hypocrite isn't somebody who never or always lives up never or or fails to live up to their own standards. That's Mm -hmm. not what a hypocrite is. Like it's somebody who doesn't believe what they say they believe. Yeah, or demand something of everybody else that they refuse to demand of themselves or something Mm. like that. So it's like you can be somebody like most of us have had our, you know, we've been this this stuff has been imposed upon us from a young age Mm -hmm. and it's a difficult thing to overcome. And you can be vocal against pornography even as you strive to be free of it. And that doesn't make you a hypocrite. Mm hmm. That would be so. That'd be the first uh, argument, right? That it's like it's just unfeasible, so don't even talk about it. I'm trying to think what else someone might say. Like, if look, if I'm asked the question, I'm going to answer honestly, right? I mean, should they be? Yeah, no, right. No, well, of course. This is twofold. This is another. This is another um, way of looking at it. If you heard that the UN was saying to some small country in Africa, we will only give you humanitarian aid if you stop jailing pornographers, how would you feel about that? I think that's another very valid question because that tells you whether in principle you think there's anything wrong with jailing them. Repeat the question. So if the UN were to go into some small African country that lives as man is meant to live or more in line with that, they have some understanding of the natural law and they were saying to that, to say to that country we will only give you humanitarian aid or whatever it is they're holding over their head Mm -hmm. if you stop this ugly practice of throwing pornographers in jail Mm. would you as an american catholic go well see i see what you mean we we can't tell the u.n not to do that because these are our values what i'm trying to do here is not discuss again pragmatic political strategy i'm trying to get down to basic principles and if you would be upset if you would think it was an overstep for the UN to That's tell a right. small country to stop locking pornographers up, then you're not in a position to say that it's wrong to lock pornographers up. Excellent. Yeah, that's really good. This clip was sponsored by Hallow, which is the number one prayer and meditation app on the web. Go download their app by going to hallow.com slash mattfrad. When you sign up there, you get three months of their app, complete access for free. If at the end of the three months you feel like it's not worth your money, you don't have to pay a cent. But I think you will use it. I pay for it. My wife has it. My friends have it. It has sleep stories. It'll help you pray the rosary. It'll help you get into a prayer routine. 100% Catholic and super, super excellent. It actually just surpassed TikTok this month. I'm not even making that up. When I say that, it sounds like it's... No, I know. I, yeah. It's amazing. Hello, H-A-L-L-O-W dot com slash Matt Frad. Click the link in the description below so that they know we sent you.